What is going on guys, this is Max Expert Gaming and welcome to another War Thunder video and this time we will take out the M46 Patton. Finally, I unlocked it. And trust me, it was not funny. It took ages because you have to research first all the the AAA stuff, the T32 and then you can advance to the M4, uh, M64, uh, 46 Patton, I'm sorry. And as you can see, I started to research the M47 Patton 2. Let's see how this will, how long this will take. <laughs> but first, we will go obviously with the M46 now. And I gotta say, I love that tank. I mean, I love the the M26 Pershing, but I always thought it lacks on horsepower. And as you can see, it has only 500 horsepower and 41 tons. This is a bit less. The max speed is 46 kilometers an hour, which is not too bad. But it still has to less horsepower, so I thought, hmm, I need the the pattern, the M46 pattern, because it has 801 horsepower instead of 500, and weighs two uh, two tons more, which makes the power to weight ratio much much better, and this thing accelerates like a beast. Let me tell you that much. So before we talk more about that, we will start now with the um, with the cannon and the ammunition. As you can see, I haven't researched everything yet, so we will be stuck with that type of ammunition. But I gotta say, for its tier, this type of an ammunition is more than enough. I usually take a couple of shots of these on the uh, on the Pershing. I would like to research this first, but I wanna start the review, or not the review, but the look at the tank, because I think it's worth it just along with that ammunition. I know it doesn't seem like it has much penetration, but for its tier, it's enough. I mean, it's better rating 6.7. And you meet stuff which you can penetrate with that, and some stuff you can't from in front, but you gotta be smart with that tank, as usual, or find a good camping position where you can sneak out and take a couple of shots, what I what I usually do. So let's start with the cannon, you have the uh, 90mm M3A1, essentially the same cannon as the Pershing, uh, just a bit modified with a... Um, new muscle brake on front to compensate a bit more the recoil, because you see the... Pershing rocking and uh, wobbling all over the place, which won't happen as hard as with the uh, Patton. The Patton is much better in recoil control. So we start off with a T33 shot, which is essentially not my favorite shot. It has a little fragmentation going to it, but uh, I don't. I have mixed feelings about the T33 shot. I mean, they they changed it recently, or at least they changed the name of it. I don't know if they gave it a little more penetration. If you know that, let me know down low in the comments, but I don't think they gave it, so... You start off with the T33 shot, it has on 10 meters 140 millimeters of penetration, on 100 meters of 135... Uh, of 100 meters... It has 135 millimeters of penetration. On 500 meters it has 127 millimeters of penetration. This can be a little hard to handle because you meet IS-2s and... To hit an IS-2 from the front with that shell is... Uh, let's say difficult to penetrate on ice too. So, and then you get to the M82 shot, and this is my favorite ammunition for the Pershing, and it's also definitely my favorite ammunition for the M46 Patton. I have games, I had games already, where I just had the parts researched and the uh, M82 shot, and I gotta say, man, it's, it's, it's a good type of an ammunition. It has the, it's an uh, APC-BC shell, which means has a, um, an explosive cap in front and it will fragmentate inside of the tank and it does a hell of a damage and I gotta say it's 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 enough we don't even need the APCR rounds I mean for some tanks maybe you need them from in front but if you're smart enough you find a good flanking position or a good position where you can sneak out and take pot shots at the enemy tanks and you possibly will hit sooner or later one of the spots which it will go through and explode inside of the tank so I won't go over, I, w I mean, I will go over the specs fast of the last shot. I mean, the M304 shot has, it's the same as the Pershing. It has a, a penetration of uh, 254 on 10 meters, 252 millimeters on 100 meters, and 241 on 500 meters. I won't go over the 1000 because I think these are distances uh, which you won't meet that much in arcade. And if you do, it's enough to penetrate with that, with that type of an ammunition. Uh, even better, it gets uh, in, in sort of penetration with the M3 uh, 32 shot. 
you have on 10 meters 269 millimeters of penetration, on 100 meters of 263 millimeters of penetration and on 500 meters of 250 millimeters of penetration. So that's more than enough to penetrate anything at your tier if you unlock that shot. You see I'm still on it and I only mostly use the M82 shot because the uh, matchmaking is generous with me or was till now generous with me and I didn't have to worry about that much. So let's have a look at the armor. The armor has an effective thickness of around 127 millimeters in front depending on which part you go. Of the, here it only has 103 on the uh, machine gun port and I think this I don't know why this is here I have no idea why it's sloped like that but here it has only 108 millimeters of effective thickness if you angle your tank a little like that it gets 115 on the lower glazes you have 76 thickness and effective thickness of around 180 because it's sloped well just these two parts in front again don't have that much sloping to it they're more angled forward so you'll probably be able to uh, you will be get penetrated on these points if you if the enemy is smart which they usually not so they shoot you on the turret which is good for you because you have uh, a thick uh, mantlet of 114 what means thick at this tier it's semi thick so people can penetrate you there if they want to so you have 115 effective depending on which point you look at if you look on the very upper glazes it has a uh, has around 200 let's say 200 because if you angle your tank in front it has it gets around 120 to 180 depending on which part of the turret you aim on but that's only the frontal gun mantlet then there's also the back part of the gun mantlet which has 101 millimeters of uh, thickness but it doesn't include as you can see the whole gun mantlet so around your gun barrel this part here is penetrable because it doesn't cover the whole gun mantlet so the left sides of the cheeks here of the gun mantlet have extra armor so you will have essentially 215 millimeters of armor there then you have uh, the turret is packed into two parts then you have the uh, 101 millimeters behind the gun mantlet so it's it's it has a lot of thickness to it but i don't know i usually get penetrated in the turret from the front that's for most of the tanks it's not a big deal to do so if they know kind of where to shoot then the turret itself has 76 millimeters all around it an effective thickness depending on the angle of 100 millimeters i would say an average and then the side has uh, 76 also always depending on your angle you will have more or less and uh, as usually the chassis of the pattern is uh, like the Pershing is put it into two parts the back side has 50 millimeters and the very back side has only 22 millimeters so the sensitive parts have uh, sensitive armor I think they did this because the engine is heavy itself already and I wanted to make the tank lighter and mo more movable maneuverable so they made the back part where the engines and transmission and fuel tank is located uh, lighter. Uh, yeah, that's about it for the armor. Let's take a look at the uh, at the uh, X-ray. You have your ammo rack here, which I usually get empty because I, you know I take less shots. You have your ammo racks down low, which will be full for sure. So don't get hit from the side on the lower side. If people know you have your ammo rack there, after the first shot they will probably see it, so they will keep shooting you. Or try to shoot you on the lower side and you will explode like a like a big fireball <laughs> in a big fireball you have your gunner and your commander sitting behind each other which usually ends up being a double kill for the people so they will kill your gunner and your uh, commander you have a radio station on the back you have your dri uh, machine gun on the left the driver on the right you have a cannibal which is not that hard to hit as the as the Pershing's cannon barrel because it's a little fatter in front. I think the Pershing's cannon barrel, if I'm not completely wrong, but before I say something wrong, yeah, it's a bit fatter and a bit longer. I think the Pershing's cannon barrel. They shorten the cannon barrel a little, or make it made it look sleeker at least, so it's not so hard to hit. You have fuel tanks on the left, on the right, on the back. You have your radiator here, and you have the engine and the transmission on the back side. Like I said, the tank is split it exactly here. So it's lighter on the back side and has the more armament, uh, more armor on the front. So yeah, empty this ammo rack, take only 30 shots with you, you don't need more. 
if you have to take a little more but most of it will be uh, stored down here and this will empty this emmerich and makes your turret much less vulnerable to to anything that can shoot you so you won't die so fast <laughs> okay without further ado i will find the match now and finally stop talking no i won't stop talking but we will see some gameplay now so i will find a match and i'll be back in a second so before i forget that what someone mentioned on my facebook page was not to forget to mention the reload time which is 10.7 seconds after each shot you have to wait, which is okay, it doesn't take that long. You just have to wait a little. I mean, you can fire pretty fast. That's at least my experience. So let's join the match, we'll have to wait a second. Oh no, we don't have to wait a second. So we will try to attack A directly. And as you can see, the tank accelerates really quickly. It can even keep up with the T-44, which I think is one of the fastest tank in the game. Or oh, at least uh, in the medium section. So we can see we have IS-2s, Tiger 4, Ausführung BH. We have a couple of harder stuff against us, but this won't bother us much. We will still fight as long as we can. And the point is you don't have machine guns with that tank, so you want to watch out a little. You don't, you can't distract anything or take... Uh, I, I love the machine guns on the Pershing because you can knock down uh, obstacles like fences here on Poland and stuff like that. I'm not doing, I'm not going to advance with them in front because I know somebody will pass there. Probably. And I think I will do one thing and I will try to defend our B point because nobody is at B. There's only a couple of heavy tanks crawling over there. And I want to help uh, defending B. And somebody just got picked up from the M41. This was one of our heavy tanks back on the spawn, so this worries me a little because I know the Walker Bulldog is one of the more dangerous tanks and one of the more maneuverable ones. I mean, I'm maneuverable too, but the, the pattern can be a pain in the ass, to be honest. Uh, the per, um, Bulldog, not the pattern. The pattern can be a pain in the ass too. So we take a peek around the corner here. I'm trying to spot them like that without uh, actually getting the indicators for them. We're capping also, A. Eh? So I would like to s make them stop capping B, but I'm alone here and I'll try to move over, but I think this will be the will be a wrong decision, so we'll try to to spot somebody through here. I don't want to tunnel vision completely because I know there will be things coming behind me and in front of me. There will be a lot of movement in that battle now. There's a T-44 over there. And we blew up that T-44, that's what I mean. As you can see up in the X-ray kill cam, it shreds the tank into pieces inside. The M82 shot and I love that ammunition, honestly. I, I don't know if I even would take other ammunition with me. Even at that tier, at that battle rating. So, but we, we're shredding them pretty well, and I'm pretty happy with that. People are actually coming to help me now. Oh, something hit me from the left. It's a tiger. I can't hit him good. I tried to track him, but I couldn't track him. Just so he can't drive away. I will see that I will drive away real quick, because I don't want to mess around with that tiger from the front. That's the only drawback with that type of an ammunition. You can't, uh, you can't mess with the tiger from the front, but you can mess with that IS-2 over there. <laughs> See, took out three of his crew members, four actually, I think even. So yeah, this was pretty nice. So I'm not sure if I want to drive over here. I think I got a T-44 following me here. We got an SC-100 to help us out, and I know that the tiger was over there, and I'm. And I'm really cautious because I don't want to have surprise butt sex. And surprise butt sex happen really often in Poland, so... Better wear a metal plate on your ass. Oh, the ice 2 just got wrecked from another ice 2 and I don't know where that ice 2 is at. He could be anywhere right now. There he is. There we got him. I will try to hit him. He disappeared. That's weird. I can't see him anymore, so I don't know if he's in front of me. I got Altifier incoming. I wanna move because 
Anti fire in that tank can be a problem for you. Wait, 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 wait! No, Ice 2, what are you doing? Come on, don't. No! Oh, I can't drive away from him. Uh, this is. Wait before you drive, dude! I will drive back! Come on! So you can advance. Man! Some people are really impatient, right? Okay, I pushed myself a little, but I had to push myself a little. I needed to push. We need to push. Look at our, our look at the mini map, man. The mini map is virtually screwed. Okay, we did a little turn here. I'll peek around from here, just in case, because I got shot one time from these positions, and the SC100 got taken out, which bothers me even more. There's oh, there's that ice 2 over here. Uh, the wreckage of the of the SC100 is blocking me. That's a bit unfortunate, and I know that that ice 2 is standing over there. I missed. I thought I might be able to hit my shot. Oh, the Tempest did a good job. He took out the, the bomber. And we wrecked that ice 2C right straight to the driver's hatch. Ooh! But he's reloading. The other ice 2 is reloading. So we'll push forward now. And take care of him. And we got him. Easy kill. I'm just scared that my teammate... Yeah, exactly. Move backwards, bro. Come on. I don't want to get out of there. So you can drive in front if you want to. Ah oh, shit, no, don't tell me I'm, I'm stuck here now. Come on. No. Oh, the, the physics sometimes, right? I mean, do you feel me? I can help repair somebody? Well, let's help them to repair. Okay, nice. We've done that. It's the first... Oh, behind us, behind us, behind us, bro. Behind you. Behind you. Dude, take a look. There's an ice too behind you. Ah, fuck, my cannon barrel is fucked. Okay. I think he didn't even in intend to sh- Oh, fuck, there's something behind me. I probably blow up now. Oh, I'm still alive. Holy crap. Oh, shit, there's all kinds of crap here. Drive, 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 drive. We need to go to a location to repair. Holy crap. Oh, my God. I need to repair here. I don't have a choice now. I need to repair here. I know there's a Tiger P over- Oh, one minute. I need assistance. I need Where's my repair assistance? One minute, guys. Will we survive the one minute? That's the questions of the question. We are capping the zone there, but the question is, will I survive the one minute? Oh, fuck. My, okay, my, my turret drive is repaired, but I still can't shoot, so... I think my teammate is helping... Is he re helping to repair me? Can he? Can I make this? I don't know. I don't know if I can do this. Pull me! Ah, shit, he can't... Can he pull me? No, shit, fuck it, fuck it, dude. Fuck it. Fuck it. I don't know where I got shot from. To be honest. Ah! From through there? One minute and eight repair time. Holy crap, man. Ah, my cannon barrel is repaired. So I, I can shoot if I have to. He's... Uh, my teammate is being really cool. He's trying to protect my side. Dude, watch your left. Watch your... Shit, I knew it. I knew it. I can see him there. Oh, fuck. 44 seconds left. And I think I can hear something in front of me. I hope I can't hear. I hear something in front of me, but I'm not sure. I have 29 seconds left because he, the one dude got my tracks. And yeah. When your tracks are gone, that's bad for a tank, you know? <laughs> oh fuck, I hear something behind me. Oh, from where? Oh, I see that dude. I shot his cannon barrel. But I know... I mean, I know this, this will make him have to repair. Some, oh, someone bumped that ice too over here. Oh, you're a god, man. You're a god. He just saved my freak... Oh, fucking crap. And there's another ice too. Come on, come on, come on. I can help my teammate there. Come on, don't drive! No, 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 don't do this. 
Oh. Holy crap, man. We're, we're getting this. We're getting this. I know there's another Ice 2 waiting here around that corner. The one who shot me before. But I got his cannon barrel, so he will be a bit busy with repairing. And my loader is probably gone. Oh god, my tank is wholly screwed, seriously. Holy balls, man. I want to protect my teammate so he doesn't get screwed over. I just hit a... Shit, I just hit a... The microphone with my headset. I'm sorry about that noise. If you heard something. I wanna try to get that ice 2 over here. My teammate tried to cap and there's a bomber run coming and I probably will get bombed. If I get bombed, I don't know if I wanna search for another match. We'll make that decision afterwards. No, 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 no. I'm driving away. Oh. Oh shit. Oh, set him on fire. Got his transmission. We're gonna back off. We're gonna back off real quick. I hear my teammate beside, I hope it's my, oh no, I got stuck on this again, are you kidding me? Why I can't turn myself around from it? I have the feeling that something will come up behind me, I'm pretty sure about that. So there's a T-34-85 over there and I don't know if I wanna try to hit him. My teammate got the other T-34 and I will turn around now, because screw this, we have to watch our flank a little, because I know there was a... There was an ice 2 here somewhere, and I don't know where he went. Oh, fuck, T-44. Reload time, reload time. I will tell them to attack him. Maybe again I can get lucky because I have a monster reload time. I will tell them that I'm reloading. Maybe I get lucky. Oh, no, I don't get lucky. There's freaking bombs coming again. I need to advance so I don't get blown up into a million pieces. Uh, our Panther got blown up. Oh, there's a T-44. Did you saw him driving around that corner? He's trying to flank me. But I will have surprise butt sex with him. Where did he go? Oh, there he is. Oh shit, only hit his tracks. Only hit his tracks. Holy crap. No, 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 no. Don't hit me, don't hit me, don't look at me. Don't even look at me. Oh, 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 oh. I will play cat and mice with him now. <laughs> Probably gonna add some nice music to this. <laughs> there he is. Okay, okay, turn yourself like that. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, lucky me that he missed the shot. <gasps> Holy crap, man. That's a tight match. That's a freaking tight match and we can still win this. And there's still an Ice 2 alive in the city. There's still an Ice 2 alive in the city and I'm gonna try to take... Oh fucking crap, are you shitting me? Oh no, 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 no. You're stuck, bro. You're stuck. I'll make you stuck. I'm not going to let him turn. If I let him turn, I will die. And we won the match. I can't believe it. And I will kill him now. <laughs> Holy crap, man. What an intense match in the end. Holy shit. Okay, we won't search for another match because I think this is... This is showing what happens when you land in such intense matches. Holy crap, man. This was of epic proportions. Yeah, guys. <laughs> Honestly, try that tank out. It's it's really good. It has a it gets a great matchmaking with 6 battle rating 6.7. It has good ammunition types. It has speed. It has maneuverability. It can take a shot or two to the turret, even to the to the tank itself, you saw it. I mean, when you're in a circle fight with a T-44, you can win that, actually. So, try it out. I mean, it's an American tank. It has gun depression. It can go on weird positions where you can't go with any other tank. And I probably will have a feature of a replay coming soon because I had, uh, I think, 14 kills in that match. So, it's worth take a look at that later on. So, guys, as always, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to leave a comment if you like the tank, if you like the video and what you think about the tank. Also leave a like, this is much appreciated and helps me a lot. And uh, share the video with your friends if it, would ha if it was helpful. It helps me also if you share it with your friends or on Facebook or on Twitter, Retweety Tweety Tweety. It helps me because it spreads my word around, spreads the word around about the channel. So it helps us actually, you know what I mean, you get it. As always guys, this is Max Expert Gaming and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for staying that long and watching the video. This is my end card, welcome to it. And if you want to watch one of the previous videos, just click on them. On the little displays you're seeing right now. Also in the top middle there's a subscribe button if you want to watch more awesome videos.